Hey guys, I'm Rogan and this is my new rant. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And for those newcomers, welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so we talk about the, um, well, we believe in the diversity of thought here on this channel. And these are ideas meant, meant to be worth sharing and they're not meant to be concrete advice. This is just what I'm doing. And sometimes if I share things that I'm doing, it might help others. Uh, so if you're new to this channel, we talk about physical, mental, spiritual, and financial health and how it impacts our life on this channel. Those are the fa four main pillars of this channel that I like to focus on. And today's topic is going to be super controversial. Yeah, super controversial rant. Thanks, Rogan. Yeah, you're welcome. So um, I believe that this topic actually impacts all four of the pillars, the physical, mental, financial, and spiritual health. So I'm not going to get super into my thoughts and my opinions and like where I stand on certain stances when it comes to this type of thing. But I'm just going to say that I, why I either won't vote in this upcoming election this year, the election that's happening this year in 2024, or I will just vote independent and not give either of my support to either of these terrible candidates. So uh, we have we have red T candidate over here and then we have we have blue J that's a, that's actually a bird blue J uh candidate over here so I'm not I'm not just going to get super into you know you know who I'm talking about and if you've been following anything related to politics and stuff like that so you know the way the rhetoric of one of these candidates and the way this the other candidate fumbles over every word that he seems to speak neither of these candidates are great and will save the nation and they'll be good for the average american like they say they're going to be one is extremely arrogant and then the other one is just like you know i feel bad i feel bad for him cuz he you know he shouldn't be in the position that he is right now and he it's He's not, he hasn't really done any much right and stuff like that. And it's a shame. And there just, there just needs to be better leadership. Now, I don't have any, I don't have any uh, solutions to <laughs> what, you know, what the leadership should be. I'm, I'm not, I'm not positive if uh, Ron from Florida or, you know, Neocon Nikki or <laughs> these other candidates that come in, like, I, I really don't have any answer, you know. Um, a lot of people say that there should be stricter term limits on any anybody in the Senate or the House of Representatives, and that I do agree with. But, you know, we, the tensions around the world, in terms of geopolitical tensions about different conflicts and aggressions have only been getting worse. And, you know, you can't blame the blue guy who's in the office right now for everything that's happening and you can't believe the red guy and the other saying like, oh, well, if I was president, then this would never would have happened. It's like the arrogance, you know, and and some of the things that he said, like, you know, he want he, he would he doesn't want to be Herbert Hoover and he wants the economy to crash before he enters office because he doesn't want he doesn't want to be elected and have the economy crash. And it's like, that's very nice. And um Building off that little point a little bit is like we still have had a fake economy since maybe 2017 or even if you want to go a little bit more back, you know, based off of, you know, artificially low interest rates near zero for over a decade and tons of money printing, quantitative easing, over six trillion dollars was printed into existence, but from 2020 until now, um, like it's what do you think is going to happen it's like fiscal pol it's like the policy of the federal reserve like 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 the red guy blames the blue guy who's in the office right now is like oh it's all his fault and i was like oh yeah it's all his fault and you take credit you take credit for a stock market that you <laughs> it just it's i'm saying these things to just get you thinking because a, a huge chunk of the population will believe things that these two candidates say and it's like, oh, well, the gas prices and the, the, the economy and the oil. And it's, and it's like they don't, they don't have as big of an influence on that as you think. Like, like, like really, just, just think. You know, they're, they're not looking out for you. They're looking out for them. Like they want the notoriety or like they want the money or they want to do different shady things. 
You know, newsflash, both of these candidates that are terrible options to vote for at the end of this year, they're in it for themselves and they, 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 they say they want your best interest or they're going to change things or they're going to make the lives better. But they, 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 it's like, they obviously they, they say whatever they want to say to get elected, but they're not going to, they're not going to do it's They're not going to do it. They're, they they say these things, and you know you you control like the, your situation, because circling back to what I said at the beginning of the video, is that this impacts everything. Everything about everyone watching this video, every the, the four pillars of your life. You know what happens during this election will dictate the future four years of this country. You know thinking about how you manage your money financially. You know the interest rates. You know, that's that's the that's that's up to the Fed. You know that's up to what the Fed does, or maybe what each candidate dictates the Fed should do. You know your your mental and physical health. You're thinking about mental and physical health in terms of crime in this nation, or mental like just mental health problems or habits and stuff like that, like incentives and spiritual health too. Like different different parties have their views on you know religion and what certain religious groups, how they vote and stuff like that. So this affects everything. So I know this video was a rant and it was a little bit all over the place, but, but that's, that's sometimes why you come to this channel. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button if you liked it and, um, hit that dislike if you didn't dislike it. I'm not going to yell in every video, but, um, it's fun to do sometimes. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. If you want to see more crazy videos from this crazy guy, and hit that notification bell. It might work. It might not. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comment section down below. Just remember, when November comes, not great. <laughs> All right. Have a great rest of the day. I'll see you next time.